Greetings to Dr. Michael. We are Group 12 and our cloud solution is Smart Garage. Good morning, sir. I'm Yuzun Singh. Now I will present about the backup study of Garage. Garage refers to the wooded, rooted structure buildings that detach, partial or fully attached to the home for storing vehicles. Garage can protect the vehicles from precipitations. Other than that, it also can protect the vehicles from theft and vandalism. Garage can also act as a dedicated charging spot for plug-in hybrid electric vehicles or electric vehicles to bring the convenience to the owners from queuing for charging stations. Although the transfer of garage from serving a purpose, a single purpose to the multi tasings that brings the benefit to the community. There are few more functionality can be integrated to the garage in order to utilize the garage in a more efficient opportunity. Next, I would like to present about the problem statement. People rarely check the vehicles before or after driving. They are always willing to spend their time on other matters instead of checking their vehicle status. They may think that the other stuff are more important than checking their vehicles. Some people do not know the optimum tire special for their vehicles. Although they had checked their vehicle's tire special frequently, but they still inflated the tire with a long air pressure. The excessive and insufficiency air pressure will cause distortions of the tire shifts and reduce the duration of the tire. The tire specials are lower than the parameter recommended by the manufacturer. The possibility of occurrence of the tire dismantling under the high speed are high. It is difficult for the driver to control their vehicles in a correct direction or even brake. Therefore, it causes accidents. Moreover, the occurrence of the traffic accidents will also affect the other road user. The proposed system will be implemented by using the cloud computing service provided by Amazon Web Service. The smart garage system with tire pressure monitoring are proposed by integrating Internet of Things, Compute, Storage, Machine Learning, and Application Service to provide an attached indirect tire pressure monitoring system to assist the vehicle owner to monitor the tire stated by analyze the thickness of the tires and issue notifications to the vehicle owner when anomalies are found. Next, I will to present about the architecture diagram. First, we need a camera to capture the image of the vehicle's tire. The camera is monitored and controlled by AWS Greencast. AWS Greencast will transmit the captured image to AWS IoT Core in order to transmit the captured image to the ground. The captured image will store in Amazon S3, which is a online storage. The captured image will transmit to Amazon Recognition. It will help to identify the size of tires in the image and it will detect and analyze the thickness of the image. After that, the data of Amazon recognition will send to Amazon Lambda. Amazon Lambda will run the code that can compare the recommended thickness of the tire size with the thickness and the size of the tire from the data. If the thickness of the tire is greater than or lesser than the recommended thickness, the system will calculate the air pressures or pressures needed to inflate into the tire in order to get the recommended air pressure of the tire. The result of the data will send to the Amazon SNS. It will send the result as the notifications to the user with SMS and email. Besides, the result of the data will also transmit to the Amazon S3 in order to store it. After that, the data will send to the quick size for analysis. 
Good day, sir. My name is Tang Gen Hong. Now I would like to present the AWS services that were used in our assignment. So the first one will be the camera. The camera will be capturing the tire image of the car when the car when there is a car parked inside the garage. After that, the IoT Green Glass will establish a connection between the camera and IoT core, and the IoT Green Glass will help to send the image taken by the camera from the garage to the IoT core. After that, the IoT core will help to connect the camera device to the cloud and it will help to send the image received from the green grass to the S3 bucket. Then, the image will be stored inside the S3 bucket after it has received and then the image will be used by the recognition services it will be used by the recognition service for analysis usage and also can be used by the quicksand. And that's all for my part. Thank you. Greetings to Dr. Michael. I'm Soren and I will start the presentation with creation of IAM role. After the creation of the S3 bucket to store the picture from the garage camera, we need to create a lambda function to analyze the picture taken by the camera from S3 bucket so we need to create an IAM role for Lambda to gain access to the S3 bucket for retrieving the picture, recognition API to analyze the picture, and SNS to publish the notification of the user. So after login to the AWS console, search the Identity Access Management Service at the searching tab. Then after, click on the IAM service. So after, uh, the web page will direct to the IAM console. So select the role tab at the site navigation bar. Then click on the create roles. Then select the type of the trust entity such as AWS service, AWS service, and the Lambda service. Click on the next permission button. So attach Amazon Lambda execute, Amazon recognition full access, Amazon SNS full access, and S3 full access to the role and click next to the next step. This one is to add the tag to the row. It is optional. So after adding the tag to the row, we can go for review session. So name the rule and the review attach policy at the policy tab. Then after the review, the create version of row are completed. The created row will be listed at the row list over here. So after the IAM row is created, we need to create a SNS for the service to publish a message to the user. So after we go to the AWS Management Console and search for simple notification service at the searching tab. After that, select the topic located at the left side navigation bar, which is here. The topic can be created after the topic names were set. So simply give a name for the topic, then the creation of the topic is completed. So we need to create a subscription for the topic to send the, the message to the endpoint. So we go to the create of a create subscription button, then select the SMS protocol as a subscriber endpoint, enter the endpoint mobile number, then create finish the sub creation of the subscription. So after the creation of the subscription, we have completed for the SNS service. So we can go to Lambda. So at the Lambda, we search for at the searching tab. Then we click on it. After that, we go. To, we create a function. We go to create a function button to create a Lambda function. So we select the use a Blueprint tab and find a reconnection Python code Blueprint over here and select it. Then configure. Set the function via name. Then use an existing role, which is using the role that create just now, which is the Lambda Reconnect SNS role, which is access to the recognition SNS S3 and Lambda execution. Then select the bucket that store the tire image of the vehicle uploaded by the IoT service. After that, choose the event type as all object created. Therefore, when there is an image uploaded to the S3 bucket, the code the code will run to analyze. After configure the S3 is complete, finish the creation of the Lambda function by click on the create button, fun create function button, then import the SNS client to the recognition Python code and add in the message publish function into the code, which is client equal to bottle3.client with a bracket of SNS. Then this message equal to client.publish is the message publishing function 
to for the Lambda to send a message to the user. Then copy the ARN, ARN code for SNS topic and insert into the target SNS located at the message publish function, which is over here, the target ARN code, which can be obtained at the Lambda SNS topic. So the code are now configured to execute upon every time there is a new tire up photo upload to the S3 bucket and the notification will be sent to a vehicle owner through the short message service when the tire required checkup. This is all my presentation. Thank you. Hi, and a very good day to you, sir. My name is Lao Xiu Kun. I'm going to present one of the LDBS service used by our project, which is the LDBS Quick Site. So how does LDBS Quick Site work? Um, first, you have to own an LDBS account, then and then use the LDBS account to sign up for the LDBS Quick Site service. So in our project, we use the LDBS Quick Site standard package, and then when you log in, LDBS Quick Site you discover data sources that you upload from your devices or from connector from AWS services such as the AWS Receive, RDS, Tina, S3, and so on. You can connect to any of the data sources that can be discovered by AWS QuickSight and get insight from this data and minutes. QuickSight can generate dashboard based on the analysis done. And then why use AWS QuickSight? Um, based on my research, I have discovered that there are seven major benefits of using QuickSight. The first one is the data source compatibility. Data sources can be either CSV files, SLSX files, which is the Excel file, SAS data sources, or relational data sources like Amazon, Athena, Shift, S3, and etc. Any data sources can be accessed by either linking them or importing them through the supported engine. In fact, any instance of data stored in an internet accessible environment can be worked with QuickSight. The uh, second one is the slick and smooth Spice engine. Spice Engine is a super fast, parallel in memory and calculation engine which is quick and easy to use. This analytical feature is provided by QuickSight to empower users to query large amount of data, process and analyze them at a lightning pace. This engine is designed to be extremely powerful and make data readily available. The next one is, is very portable. QuickSight can be accessed any, anytime, any place from a laptop, um, smartphones, mobile devices, tablets, or even offline if you download the offline app. The next one is the uh, flexible, which is a uh, no spray constraints. QuickSight is designed in such a way that um, the users can are not constrained by a conservative cloud design. Users can play around with their data without spending a lot of time or effort behind the screen to work on the analysis. And then the next one is the Smart Interactive Visualization. The Spice calculation engine helps to model the accurate process and retrieve the required data faster and usual. This also has a built-in visualization tool which helps users to visualize their data sets. The next one is the self-survey analysis. Users are also equipped with the self-service exploratory analytics the GUI available on the dashboard enables users to size and dice the data as the required analysis and set them up for future reference. And the last one is the highly scalable. Amazon QuickSight can be used across several domains and to measure the metrics independently. It can be skilled across tens of thousands of users who can work independently and see more all across the data sources. That's all for my part. Thank you.